Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to show you the snippets upgrade. It is now possible to duplicate snippets via the duplicate button or to search via the search function. In case you forgot what is snippets, snippets are pre-crafted messages that you can pull into the SMS text box fields under conversations or into the email field. This will allow you to stay on brand via your communications because everyone who's going to use those snippets has the same tone of voice. Now, being able to organize different snippets into different folders will help you to stay more productive, efficient, and organized. So let me show you how you can set those up. Now, first click on conversations on the left and then click on snippets at the top. Then click plus add new snippet. Here you can decide if you want to create a text snippet or an email snippet. Let's choose text for now. And here on the right hand side, you will see a phone which will showcase you the template, how it would look like once you've typed it. So let's start by giving it a name. For example, follow up missed appointment. Then here you can add your snippet body. You can work with custom values, of course. Let's say first name. Then you will add your body. And here on the right hand side, you can see how it would look like on the phone. At the bottom here, you can see the approximate cost. You can see how many characters, words, and segments you have used. Down here, you can add an attachment and also file through a URL. Let's click attachment. Let's add this image. If you would like to add a file through a URL, then you could upload this under media storage and take that URL from there. We're going to leave that blank for now. And if you wanted to, you could also test your snippet by sending yourself an SMS. For now, let's hit save. Now, here you can see the new snippet has been created. If you click the three dots on the right, you can move it to a folder. You can edit the snippet or duplicate the snippet. So we don't have any folders yet. So let's create one real quick. Click on add folder and let's say appointments. Okay, let's hit save. Then at the top right here, you can see that we are in the all snippets section. So click on folders. And here we go. This is the folder we just created. So let's go back to snippets. Let's find the snippet, the follow up missed appointment, right? Like here, click three dots and move to folder, click the drop down menu and let's move it to appointments, click move. Then you can see here under folder, this appointments folder shows up right now. If you click on the folders as well, you can see one snippet is inside that folder. Click on the folder and you see all the snippets that belong to this particular folder. In case you wanted to delete the snippet, you just click the three dots again, then click delete snippet. Now let's go back to snippets. Let's say we have already so many snippets and we would like to start organizing them into different folders, but can't find the snippet we are after. So we just use the search function right here. Let's say we type appointments. And then here our snippet already shows up because the keyword appointment is in the name. Let's delete that real quick. If you click filter C, you can filter by type, which means either by text or email. So here our follow-up missed appointment was a text snippet, right? Now you can also bulk add different snippets into folders. Let's say we would like to add this, this, and this text message into another folder. Then you can click bulk actions. You can either delete the snippets or move to a folder. In this case, let's move them to the others folder. Hit more and let's go to folders at the top. And you can see we've got two folders right here. Okay. All right. So now let's go and test it out on the conversations. So you want to click conversation on the left and click on conversations at the top. Then select your conversation in question. And at the bottom here, you can see insert snippet. You can click on that. And here you can see all the email snippets because we've selected email as a communication tool right here, right? Let's click on SMS, click on snippet again. And here you can see both of our folders. Here's the appointments one and here's the others one. If you click on appointments, you can see the follow-up message that we just created. You would just click on that and then it will just pull the message, including the attachment right here into the SMS folder. And that's it already, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you organize your snippets into different folders and how to stay consistent with your brand messaging. I will see you in the next video.